Hello! Welcome back to Tirona Kasund. We're still on volume 12 and here we go. <clears throat> hmm, where the hell are we? So here we are. Where? Here we are. We? Huh? Huh? So we are in jail. You always knew you were now be here eventually, but you were expecting a human jail. Not this. What the fuck is this? It will happen so fast. You were waltzing down an old Altinia street in search of friends, and when you heard the telltale sound of machinery behind you, before you could escape, some giant metal drone with a rocket ass scooped you up and flew away with you. Hmm. The most interesting bit is just it, the fact that I didn't get cold immediately. So, yeah, weird. <laughs> it's like, why they have prison? Why they don't. They, they kill the whole fucking thing. <laughs> No, that's weird. <laughs> you were hardly surprised that the drone didn't execute you on sight. They, t they tried to do that before, after all. Perhaps your numerous shenanigans have grown so vast and ridiculous that someone wants to see you in person before you die. You only have to have the chance to ask you, what the fuck? Well, in any case, you aren't complaining. Uh, not uh, about being brought alive, at least. You have plenty of other things to complain about, though this cell sucks. Yeah, what the hell is this green sh moss all over this bloody place? <clears throat> He's hard and cold, and full of these gross-looking moths that could probably kill you since everything else in this planet sure can. There's a couple of patchwork holes in the back holes of your cell, which are enough to wriggle your way out through, but aren't enough to let in light from outside. Well, there's so many holes, actually. If you, you can actually work yourself out of it, I think, with a big-ass rock. Rook! And give them a, a smash. But I feel like there's a, like a protection sign you also do. I mean here, I think we don't want to really get out. I mean, uh, it's day, day, right? I mean, there's light coming out, so there's probably the light is probably gonna burn us alive at this point. You've been here since a few hours be uh, before dawn, and now it's midday. She means school, <laughs> scorching ray of sunlight are streaming their way into your cell and forcing you to the <laughs> to dart around to the shady spot, and the sun makes its way across the sky, of course. As if there weren't enough, it also had rain rain outside, which really isn't doing much to stymie my to sunlight, and you think rain might be acid too, fun. Uh, what? Acidic? <laughs> okay, no, sorry. Wait, how the fuck? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna question. Intermingled with the rain you've been hearing, some sounds coming from the other rooms. Interrogation, maybe. Torture. Whatever it is, you're not a fan of it. And put some... Please fix the leak in the roof. If you have listened no, to one more drop of water exploding onto the floor, <coughs> <laughs> like a nuclear fucking bomb, your shit is going to take an extended sabbatical from the handle. To conclude, it's not great. You like it outright, preferably. No? <laughs> now what? <laughs> You're in jail. <laughs> you just wait, I guess. Oh, goddammit, you were hoping that someone would con <laughs> conveniently appear in the time with your internal monogle monologue, but no such luck. And we wait again. So there was somebody here. Okay, Wu, there she is. Uh, your new savior is more, probably the smallest troll you've ever met in your life, with the uh, possible exception of Amicia, and she looks about as young as Amicia as well. How it works, I'm still not sure. She got wild pigtails sprouting from her head and a twitchy look in her eye as she's going to start sprinting. The second she hears the sound, she opens your cell's door with a freak and gesture down the hallway with a quick jerk of her head. Come on, with me now quickly head down. Keep quiet, no, ask, no asking question. Uh, ask <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> ask questions. <laughs> Oh, perfect, that's perfect. Wait, 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 you have so many questions. Which of many lovely friends was willing to help you escape? Who is she? What's her deal? How did she know? She shushes at you, and her eyes narrow into a appraising screen that she looks you over. <laughs> Not a bride, huh? Figures. <laughs> I have so many questions! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who told you I was here? <laughs> Uh, listen, I don't have time to explain. I'm not putting my neck out further to here's and what we're gonna do, okay? You're gonna run now to far out because you don't wanna wind up in the undead territory. Stick the city, find nice hiding place, and keep your head down. See ya! Uh, <laughs> wait, what? <coughs> Excuse the fuck, 
what? <laughs> she rather forcefully stuffs what appears to be a military-grade umbrella into your hands and shoves you out of the back door. Into, her, into the rain and sunlight when you turn to protest, the lock of the door click shut and you're stuck outside. What was that she said about undead? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, she kicked me out of the prison. <laughs> That's it. That's what's up with it. I just got kicked out of prison. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> You're downgrade bad when you kick you out from prison. <laughs> I'm so impressed by that. <clears throat> And here we are, we just follow her, and no question asked. You follow her down the hallway, keeping quiet and instructed, even though you have so many questions. You want to ask her, because you're like, what her name is, or where you are, or why they haven't fixed the fucking leg in the fucking roof. Instead, you just hurry, closely behind us, she takes you uh, to a stairwell in the back of the building and uh, up multiple flights of stairs. Picking out of the window of each door you pass, you see what seems to be an evidence locker and a row of tightly packed cubicles and then a long, winding hallway. This is where she opens the door and ushers you through. The hallway is full of electronic locked doors with all signs on them. The overwhelming majority of which are teal. Okay. Totally out of presence here seems to be automated cleaning robots. You are as surprised to see uh, that troll Roombas come with their knives pre-attached. <laughs> My Michael Reeves had passed here. My uh, Michael Reeves had, had been three. <laughs> oh, that's rude. That's fun. She punches a series of numbers and lets into a keypad besides one of the doors, bearing her signs and name. And then slips inside, and you follow. Oh, lovely, lovely office. We. Here, we are my hive away from hive. Wait, is this a prison? You can be a bit louder now, but no chatting. That'd just be weird as hell, buddy. And my name, Tirona, by the way. Uh, you put a little refrain from shouting as you introduce your yourself to her. Tirona pulls up a chair and sits down in her husk top, tapping some keys. So what were you gonna do here? Uh, is I, I'm just going to go ahead and access your files in your system, in our system. Shouldn't be too hard to find since you are weird, alien, and yep, here we go, that what we were looking for. <laughs> Thanks to make a few edits. Shalini's fingers flying quickly over the keys, she abruptly uh, fast on keyboards, her eyes darting back and forth across the screen. Now, normally I wouldn't pull anything this risky, and I certainly wouldn't be helping out a criminal out I have it on the good source, but you are not the kind of person we should be letting rot in a cell, or worse. Okay, right now you are in our system on a lot of weird and uh, serious offenses. <laughs> Which are gonna play dump on it! <laughs> but you and I... <laughs> now we know that the only thing you are really guilty is trying to keep your head and shoulders attached, yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna click here, delete here, a few things there, and blah blah blah, there we go, you're okay. Well, that was easy, that was extraordinarily easy. I'm a little bit worried of why you're all doing this for. But just like that, huh? Thank her profusely, and even begin to consider groveling her feet, but she cuts you off. Listen, I'm just doing the grunt work for ya. Wasn't really my decision to spring you. As you say, you and I have a mutual friend. Wink wink. <laughs> nudge nudge. <laughs> I run errands for him sometimes in exchange for information. I just happen to be pulling an all day over here. Anyway, so I was in the right place at the right time. This mutual friend of yours sounds like a dead ringer from Malek. Wow. Now we are serial in high places are really paying some great dividends. It beats our data, our, our data, at least all you go from her where some really weird DMS on Sutra from her string followers. Okay. Anyway, speaking of being in the right place, what is this place anyway? This place is, well, a lot of things. Okay. A jail, a courthouse, an office, a whole lot more. Okay. Basically, if you are a till looking to learn how to deal, deal, thinks it is where you go to advance uh, internship, in, inter, intermentorship. Okay. Sorry, it's just uh, so hard to read it through uh, trees, I guess. Most of it are law relatable, uh, related, of course, but there is a couple semi related fields of the go getters looking to do something a little different. 
Uh, like me. So, so harsh to read it. Yep, any bad you yours? Uh, just you know, dying to know what I got up to in these hollowed hearts, don't you? Surely a billion mind like mine, mine, Miss Kasum, is doing some real important work here. It's what I bet you, you're, you're thinking, and you are absolutely correct, my friend. Fist your gen. Gander boobs on this. Um, um, <laughs> I honestly cannot understand what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, uh, it's like someone's talking to you, I'm just looking at it, I'm like, I'm nodding, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm, um, yeah. Mm. A few clicks of the wrinkly, bulbous mouth of her husk top loads up several images, you glance at the screen to recognize the scenting in your brain, goes high wire with dopamine. Uh, cats? Alien culture or not, you know memes when you see them. <gasps> yes, memes! God, you missed memes. Check it out, check it out. They're a little corny, but I know Teresa are gonna love them. She's a real sucker for this kind of thing. One of them is an image of Macro featuring Teresa doing her makeup with the caption Teresa's so hot, rebels are so not. <laughs> Another thing to feature troll brains at least. You hope those are brains of rare and size and hemocolorous. Me a rebel is the small maroon brain, sympathizing with rebels is the medium sized olive brain, and worshipping Teresa is the giant purple brain. <laughs> giant purple brain, yes. Uh, oh, how? Oh, when did they uh, add the thing, the, the thingy, the memes, the, uh, the brain memes, the big brain memes? I, I'm too old for it. Uh, it's too old, I guess. Well, it's still in vogue, but still. It's, you can still find it somewhere. This is on uh, uh, on sales? No, sorry, or or on sales? Be going online? I don't. I'm a really hard time reading this shit. Up the web, but uh, soon. But for now, we've got plenty other memes circulating. See, I made a bunch of fake Chitra card and got some techie troll to automate them for me. He was a hive of the excitement not to do some work on Teresa's behalf. I tell you. Some of these accounts just pretend to be regular trolls in our, our best Joe's nightly big fan related love humor, you know. They're wrecking up the follows as we speak. Oh well, well, well. Now that our uh, Elon, remember, I'm recording this uh, drive just the month he bought Twitter. Let's see how I was gonna end up on Cheater. <laughs> What's gonna happen to Cheater? <laughs> the final time is put some trees and memes up there. Uh, uh, he's probably gonna do some bad memes. <laughs> he's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna find memes. <laughs> uh, this is how you get them. Uh, you start with a couple of innocuous jokes and you got the pure beast pigs. <laughs> pure beast pigs. And then BAM! Suddenly you are spreading the good word of the Empire and they were upset because your cheater account is so fucking hip. I called the uh, Mimiga... Mimi? Mimiganda? He's gonna be the next big thing, tell you. Mimiganda? It does seem like a pretty clever way of spreading propaganda, really effective on the day of modern news. It also deeply unnerves you, but you leave the part out, there's just something wrong about memes being used for evil. Ah, uh, don't look at me. <laughs> i never done that. <laughs> Thank you, glad someone appreciates all the hard work I've been doing here instead of just brushing me off. I've had to do a lot of overtime putting out propaganda of the Empire lately. Yeah, it's very hard to make good memes, trust me on that. <laughs> I tried. I think I, I... I think I only managed once, but it was mediocre, you know. Average. Just between you and me. Although this ain't exactly much of a secret anymore. They talk about rebellions brewing like a real actual beef scale. One instead of just a bunch of high bloods getting paranoid because... Um, Burgundy? Look at them funny. Who's Burgundy? It's pretty scary actually, I hope I won't get swept up in all of these something messy breaks out. Oh wow, it's like, I think, I almost, almost assume that she's like, she has like high power because she's some sort of warden, you know? Yeah, so she has access to prison, and you're like, oh I can actually get killed too! <laughs> I was like, well, it's a free for fuck you for all! And <laughs> yeah, that's what the vibe you'll be getting, we're about to ask for more info about this Rebellion when she casts you off and keeps rambling on, seems like she got a lot to say. Okay. <laughs> and we are all ears. You get the impression that nobody else here listens to her, possibly because she's still so young compared to most of them. But uh, saving you from jail cell is a good way to get you better, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. 
Despite being a whole lot of potential trouble, I'm also a great opportunity to show the empires just how invaluable my skill set is be for them. Is be? Uh, see, I've got all planned out. First, I need to prove the, to Treats how useful and clever I am and how helpful I can be for here, uh, for her regime. Then, when Treats comes, I shall dethrone the current empress and take her place. Most trolls love Treats and those who don't are gonna get themselves cold really quick. <laughs> so we just gonna <laughs> substitute her, I guess. I mean, nothing changed. It's the same fucking. It's the same fucking juice. <laughs> Uh, with all the whole fucking cycles, um, I'm, sure she, uh, I'm sure she'll have plenty of support when the time comes for their duel. <laughs> Do they have to fight and have duels too? Okay, I guess that's easy. Once she's in full power, is like myself in a nice position. Uh, so, propaganda minister, and if I really like, I can uh, whittle my way to be assistant to his honorable tyranny himself. <laughs> okay, his honorable tyranny, you say? You don't think you heard of this guy before? You assume he's a particularly high ranking rock in the legislative process. Did we actually ever met Teresa? Oh my god. Did we actually meet, meet Teresa? I can't recall. It sounds familiar. I, I feel like I heard it somewhere. Oh no, no, no. He's a, a fuck off huge monster who passes judgment on criminals by eating them on eating anyone who bugs him, really. Uh, he presides over particularly noteworthy trials, especially in the extreme court. Okay! I'm not sure you should have known if a monster can be parents, they can surely be judges, so yeah, right? But uh, what exactly is the appeal here? Who wouldn't want to be <laughs> big, handsome and strong enough to devour anyone who annoys you? It's a perfect life, I tell you. So, bloody fucking dragon? Fair, fair enough, I guess. As it stands, since I can be him, I can at least be his best buddy. Most preferably, little helpful. And besides doing all the behind the scenes work, he's a lot safer than trying to actually hunt down a prosecute criminal, I'll tell you that much. Oh well, I guess. I mean, yeah, he might. he might uh, eat me, but that's just a normal workplace safety hold. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie. Okay. Nothing I can handle. Oh, she really does have it all planned out, doesn't she? You're impressed. <laughs> Damn, girl. You got it, girl. <laughs> Go and do it. Thank you. But uh, I can't do it all alone. I'm gonna need some help along the way from very talented and clever associates. Oh, too. I bet you know who I'm talking about. Uh, her lessons? Her classmates? No, dummy. She's. Here, I'm trying to butter you up. And uh, the flies right over your, your tink pad. Tink pad. I'm talking about you. Me? I need your help. Me? <laughs> I'm useless. <laughs> I think I'm bailing you out of that jam. I'm Earl of Wood, you say. The old rank, my clothes down your back. You recce yours down my. Tilly, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think she might die. You scratch, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> Throw an idea of this to that inscrutable as ever, but you don't know a thing or two about clothes and about helping people to earn a good grace. What does she need? You ever hear the old adage? Adage? Teal stalk? I don't know. Well, a lot of teals have been talking about the strange alien going around getting old body with the case. Uh -huh. <laughs> the way I see it, someone like that and I just know how to get me into their offices and dig up some dirt of them and their potential rebel connections. I think they they will they will they should start shelling me out of against Khan tech, but nobody ever listened to me. No wait no no now no how a regular old password system out to be enough, right? <laughs> they wish yeah, they really wish those locks were as secure as they think they are. You can figure out the codes, no problems, I'm sure. What do you say, pals? How about you, you help me and help the Empire to root out of the Rebel Scum? <laughs> like, a, 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 how you call it? Um, Star Wars vibe, I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, do you help the Empire and uh, eradicate those Rebel Scum? <laughs> oh, you are not particularly keen on betraying your friend, but. You do all want to Tirona as favor now and you love to make another pal while you're at it. There's gotta be some way you can maneuver your way out of this blood mess. Without her show, you offer her help. If you're going to hit up someone's office, it should be Tagora Tizia Oh my god, options! Fuck me! 
I don't know. I kind of want to succeed all of them. Uh, so guys, uh, this has the truth. I mean, Tagiri, I think, is the is not a good choice. Dagora, maybe, it depends. But I think Tizia is the most one that wants to bro break the system. Wait a minute. I'm okay. I'm so confused. So she basically uh, asking me to detect who is a rebel scum. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. How does she know that I know someone? Because we know Tizia is uh, TZ, T, Tizia is a rebel. Well, at least she has. Uh, she wants to improve the regime or whatever. The thing. So she is maybe more. Uh, at risk. Let's try Tagiri and see how it goes. I, I do we also want to try all of them, but uh, let's, let's, let's check it out. After mulling it over for a while, you decide Tagiri is the safest choice. Sure, he's the guy with a soul, but he's also by far the least likely to harbor a well sympathizer. So you won't get anyone in trouble here? Yeah, yeah, Tagiri. That was an interesting choice, I tell you what. He's always sucking up the purple and trying to make himself look cool and knowledgeable about law stuff. So you can't like, uh, heat be clean, but maybe maybe it's all up front. I'm working on a video about Rebel Sympathizer right now. Actually, that's one of my big bold points. Got over how sometimes the guy trying too hard took like his the level is actually as far off the level as it gets. Uh, there's a level and some levels? I don't know. Yeah, let's see what this guy is hiding. Why don't we? Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I kind of want to watch all of them, uh, to be honest, uh, what's going to happen. I'm, I don't know why I'm so curious about this. And over to this door, you can see your key bag. You shouldn't be hard passing to guess, but it's got to be the name of one of his favorite animes, right? You punch one in and nope, buzzer sound. If you try another, da -da, you're the light, the door clicks and begins to slide open after the third anime title. You glance over your shoulder and see Tirona beaming at you from right behind you, and turn back to the door and yikes! A katana comes swinging out towards you on a wire, and uh, you now lead dive out of the way before it connects, crashing into the floor in the process. You grow and stagger back to your feet and hear a familiar voice sounding from a speaker in Tagiri's room. <laughs> Foolish evil doer, do you really think it will be that simple? You're falling for my trap. Your three pitiful guests were all took to seal your doom. Now that is going to do you any good while you bleed out the floor. Sayonara, trespasser. The message seemed to cut off there, but then there's a muffled sound of like a microphone being moved. What do you think, Tadashi? It's going to look, <laughs> it's going to look so cool when he showed it off to my colleagues. You read a cigar relieved, the katana was aiming right at your head. You almost got skewed. Talk about close one, right, Irona? Irona? Did he actually? I feel like, yeah, probably. <laughs>